Hey guys, Clay here for another Riff in a Minute lesson. So this week I'm doing another request video, but first of all, did you guys have a go at the Impossible Baseline Challenge last week? If you did, let me know in the comment section how you got on. It's more possible than you think, but it's still quite a challenge. I was stoked to hear back from Sparky, who is the composer of that remix of the song Strobe by Dead Mouse. So he's the one who actually put that awesome funky bass line over it. He said that my transcription for it was actually the only one that's been correct so far. So if you want the ultimate breaking rights that you can play the impossible bass line, make sure you check out my tabs for it and then let me know in the comment section how you got on. So, this week we're taking a look at this request for Redbone by Childish Gambino. Now, this song really only has three main bass parts. There is the chorus and the verse with their slightly different endings, and then there is the breakdown section as well. I'm going to play all three sections of the song, but I'm not going to repeat as often as they do in the verse and chorus sections. So just make sure you have a listen to it to check out how many repeats you should be doing to make sure you get the structure right for the whole song. Also, because we're doing all three sections, I've had to stretch out the riff in a minute part a little bit further again this week, so it's getting closer to two minutes. But one more thing before we start playing the song, when you go to actually play this to the real track of the song itself, you will notice that you sound just a little bit sharp. That is because the recording for this song has actually been recorded in a tuning that's somewhere between D minor and E flat minor for the key. So it's a little bit closer to E flat minor, so we've just basically rounded it up a little bit. This lesson is still going to be in 440Hz tuning, but when you go to play along to the actual song, just tune yourself a little bit flatter until you come into tune with the track, and then you should be ready to go. So that's pretty much all you need to know, let's give it a go. Go grab your bass, start the clock, and let's get playing. Okay guys, so that's it. Now, any of you Jaco Pistorius fans out there happen to notice how much the melody of this song sounds like the melody to Portrait of Tracy? If you haven't noticed, have a go at playing it over top and you'll realize it's actually really, really similar. But it wouldn't actually be the first R&B song to take inspiration from the melody for Portrait of Tracy. If you don't believe me, have a listen to the 2006 song Pulling Me Back by Chingy and Tyrese. Or have a listen to the single Rain from 98 from SWV which actually heavily sampled the Portrait of Tracy melody. 
But anyways guys, that's all for this week. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and let me know in the comment section what riff you guys want me to do next time on Riff in a Minute. And if this is your first time checking out the channel, I do regular based videos and lessons, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber, make sure you've rung that bell and enabled alerts so you don't miss out on anything. But that's all for today guys, so until next time, go play, practice, and play some more. Hey, thanks for watching. Click the logo in the middle here to subscribe and then click on one of these two videos to see what YouTube thinks you should watch next because if Hollywood has taught us anything, it's always let the AI computers decide what's best for us.